from facial pressure to headaches and congestion. You can get rid of painful sinus symptoms without sacrificing any kind of comfort. Yes. That sounds like a good deal. It is true. Here to explain is Dr. Michael Kaplan with Kaplan Sinus Relief. Hey, Dr. Kaplan, how are you? Good afternoon. So you are a local uh, Houstonian, by the way. You went to Bel Air High School? Yes, I did. Austin? Yes, I did. Great. All right. Yeah. We love that. Well, what sets you guys apart from other places is you actually offer a sedation method to help people sort of relax a bit more. Explain that. Absolutely. At Kaplan Sinus Relief, we offer the option of IV sedation which means you come into the office, we put a little IV in your hand, and uh, you go sleepy, sleepy, you fall asleep, you wake up, it's over with, and your life has been transformed by opening up the sinuses, alleviating the congestion, the pressure, and the pain. So is that kind of like taking you into that little twilight zone Absolutely. instead of putting you all the way to sleep? Yeah, I mean, you are asleep. You feel nothing, and you, when you wake up, you remember none of it. That's it's amazing. Huh. That's don't remember any amazing. of it. You don't oh, no, so you guys no ideas. <laughs> really busy at this time of year. Like, it was such a beautiful weekend. I was out. I know a lot of us were yeah. out. Yeah. And what's crazy is, like, you get in your car, and you know how it's coated in that green <laughs> pollen. Yes. A lot of people, this causes problems for a lot of people. Sure it does. That green pollen is what stimulates your allergies, which is blocking up the sinuses, causing the pressure and the congestion. And at Kaplan Sinus Relief, we can alleviate those problems. And by dilating the sinuses, we alleviate the congestion and the pressure, even if you're out there exposed to that pollen. And for a lot of people, it's not just temporary discomfort or a little bit of sniffling. For a lot of people, there's pain chronic, and yeah. pressure. It's chronic, so they almost are unable to focus on anything. That's right. It's especially for those people who've been unresponsive to the medications or you're relying on the medications daily, weekly, there are options, options for that. So let's talk about like when somebody comes in, you, sinoplasty can be mm -hmm. something that might open up the door where maybe you have a deviated septum or some different things going on as well. Certainly. Uh, there are plenty of people who come in and they've got either a deviated septum uh, enlarged turbinates, which are valves that can get uh, enlarged and plugged up. Are there even patients who come in from time to time with snoring issues, and we can address those simultaneously. Yes. Can sinuses, can you also have like vocal issues as well? Uh, sinus problems? It can cause a chronic cough and some hoarseness, absolutely. So for people who are looking at some video right now of the procedure, I mean, so sinoplasty, this is something you routinely do every single day. But for people who are unfamiliar with this procedure, explain to us how it works. Uh, imagine you have an hourglass. We all know what an hourglass is. Yeah. The top half of the hourglass is the sinus, the bottom half is the nose, and that narrow channel that connects the two, that's what drains the sinus. And here you see the balloon going through that narrow channel up into the sinus behind the forehead, and as the balloon inflates, it permanently dilates that narrow channel. But the beauty of it is, you take the balloon out. But it's like a millimeter, right? It's like teeny tiny how it much that tiny. it inflates. Yes, but you only need a small amount of inflation. It's 12 millimeters, uh, 12, excuse me, 12 atmospheres of pressure. It permanently dilates that narrow channel. That narrow neck of the hourglass opens up permanently, and that's what alleviates it's the pressure. It's a stupid question. The balloon comes out, right? The balloon comes out. <laughs> so, and Dr. Kemplin, when you say it, it opens up the sinuses there, it opens up that channel, does that just mean that the patient has a sinus that's able to drain, so those congestion issues go away? Exactly, Derek. The purpose of this is to obtain drainage where there isn't any. So by opening up that narrow channel and obtaining drainage, that's what alleviates the congestion, the pressure, um, the pain. Headaches. Headaches, all of it. you actually train other doctors how to do this. Yes, I am. Uh, I am a consultant for the company that makes the balloon, and I'm a teaching center of excellence here in Houston. And on any given week, I have one or two doctors from East Coast, West Coast, North, South. Uh, I've been training doctors since 2012 for this. And we're seeing some video of your training right now. So and you've been are. doing this for, what, 21 years now? I've been in practice for 21 years. We've been doing this in the office since 2012. Probably uh, dilated about 1,900 patients at this point. And how routine would you say it is? I mean, for people out there who are freaked out by any sort of right. procedure, what is the recovery time like? Most of these are done on Fridays. It gives people the weekend to recover. By Saturday, you're doing most of everything you need to do. And by Monday, you're back to work. That's amazing. Yeah, and, and, I mean, do your patients like had that initial, oh my goodness, right after surgery, oh my goodness, this is what breathing is it's like? Many of them do. There's initially some congestion, but within a week or two, you're beginning to breathe better than you have in years, and that's routine. If someone out there is thinking, okay, I have some of these symptoms, but I'm not quite sure if I have a problem, I mean, how does someone know when the problem is severe enough for them to come and see you and have a procedure done? 
When you're suffering from these symptoms that we mentioned, it's impacting your quality of life. You've been treated by your primary care doctor. You're trying the over-the-counter medications. You're either missing days at work. It's impacting your livelihood. That's the time. So if you've been on like a series of antibiotics for sinus issues, Absolutely. you might want to think about. If it's bothering you enough that you're thinking about it on a regular basis, that's the time to come in to see me. Okay, so that's, and those are some of the symptoms we're seeing Absolutely. there on the screen. So obviously, nasal obstruction and all kinds of... Nasal conditions. obstruction, congestion, headaches, pressure, even lightheadedness, chronic cough. Absolutely. What I think is interesting is bad breath is one of yeah. the symptoms. Really? Is that because of the drainage? Because the drainage can drip down the back of the throat onto the tongue. It causes some bacterial overgrowth. It sounds kind of ooky and gooky. And, uh, but yeah, those are, those are some of the things we can alleviate with this. The specific. technical terms of ooky and gooky. That's right. <laughs> so, who knew? Bad breath caused by sinus problems. Well, Dr. Can. Michael Kaplan, thank you thank so much you. for stopping by. It's a pleasure. Very interesting conversation. And to schedule your appointment at Kaplan Sinus Relief, you can call 713-597-7433. Or, of course, you can visit them online, kaplansinusrelief.com. And Dr. Kaplan, thanks again.